What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how to back up all of the themes on your jailbroken device. This could be super useful for some of you because as you know, uh, with all the themes you purchase from all the different repos, if you lose your jailbreak, you lose the ability to use those themes because they're tied to Cydia or Zebra to download them. But if you do this method, um, you can actually have a backup of all of your themes. And I'm gonna do this kind of in two parts. I'm gonna do it as just a backup, and then I'm also gonna do it as a guide on how to actually uh, get the themes on a non-jailbroken device. That's mainly what I wanted to use it for. I love all the themes I have on my jailbroken 10, and I wanna be able to use those icons on my 12 Pro Max, which is on 14.5 beta 3. So like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do the backup, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the extraction uh, to use it on uh, non-jailbroken devices. Now we're going to be using Filesa to do this. Uh, we'll be using Filesa, also the regular Files app, and then uh, to uncompress or uh, to unzip everything, we will be using iZip from the App Store. There's a paid version and a free version, so take note on that. But if we go into Filesa here, I'll show you guys how to get to your themes in the file directory. Just go to the root, you know you're there because you can't go back anymore, and you just swipe down until you see uh, library. So click on library and then you guys swipe down here and there is the themes. A little tip for Filesa, if you guys are new to it, uh, organize by name. So then it's all alphabetical and it makes finding things much, much easier. So here are the themes. These are all of the themes that I have installed on my iPhone 10. Now to create a backup, it's real quite simple. We're gonna back up once and we're gonna take the themes folder and we're gonna create a zip out of it. So we just select on it we're gonna do more and then we're gonna create a zip. Now I have over one gigabyte worth of themes and icons. So this process will take a little bit of time. So be very patient here. Just let it, let it do its thing. And I'll be back as soon as it's done zipping it. Okay, it's still zipping it, but I did wanna jump back in here and just mention why I think that this is very important because uh, buying these themes, I mean, you're spending your hard-earned money and you essentially own the theme. And when you lose your jailbreak, it's really frustrating because you basically just lost all of that money for nothing and you can't use it. Uh, so like I said, with this method, uh, you can actually um, have access to this zip. And if you lose your jailbreak and you can't get your jailbreak back, you can still customize uh, stock iOS 14 to have custom icons like my 12 Pro Max. And that's why I think that this is very useful because even when you lose your jailbreak, I think it's still very, very fun to customize stock iOS. I have a lot of fun doing that and uh, I think it's very cool that we can back up all of those themes and use them for a non-jailbroken device. And uh, there we go, it's done zipping as you guys can see there. Uh, it did take it a couple of minutes, so just be very patient while it does that. The more themes you have, the longer it's gonna take. So now all we're gonna do is click on edit. We're gonna select on the themes zip. We're gonna click on more. And then we're gonna do open with, or excuse me, sorry, not open with, open in. And this will allow us to choose the files application. So we're gonna select on the files. And I like to save it to iCloud Drive because that way it's in the cloud and I'll always have access for it. Of course, I know some of you will have limitations on how much uh, free space you have in your iCloud Drive. Um, you could just do it on my phone if you wanted, but like I said, I like to do it in iCloud Drive because that way when it's in the cloud, I can access the zip from a non-jailbroken phone at all times. So all I'm gonna do is rename it and I'm just gonna leave it as themes and then I'm just gonna put back up so I know what it is, just like that. I'm gonna click done and now I'm gonna save it to iCloud Drive. All right, and that process was pretty quick. Now I'm gonna unselect. I'm just gonna exit out of files. I'm gonna hop into files just to make sure that the zip is there. So there is the zip file and I can just leave that there. Now for example, I'm going to delete all of my themes off of my device right now. So we delete the zip. I'm gonna actually um, delete all of my themes. So I just delete deleted the entire folder. Now I noticed that this really kind of bugs out files a little bit when you delete one of these uh, folders. So it seems like it's not doing anything right now. It is in fact doing something. And uh, I believe this file directory is basically imprinted here. 
So meaning when when I finally get files of back to working here, um, the, the file will still be there, but you guys will see that the contents are completely gone. And this is gonna mimic a freshly jailbroken device that has no themes installed. I believe Snowboard itself is what puts the file there. I could be wrong there with that one, but I believe Snowboard will automatically make this file directory directory in library. So we did delete all of our themes. As you can see, there is no themes folder now. So all of my themes are deleted. If I go into settings, I believe I need to kill it. No, nope, it already was killed. If we go to snowboard, select theme, as you can see, there is no themes on this iPhone now. So this is mimicking as if I just jailbroke it. So now what we're gonna do in Filesa, or excuse me, and as you can see, this makes Filesa get a little weird. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna create the new folder for us for themes. So let's go ahead and just uh, kill it from multitasking. Let's open up Filesa. And now we, we're back in the library and you guys will see the themes folder, I believe. Let's back out and go back into it. Library. Okay, so apparently it did not put it back in. That's very interesting. But what we're gonna do to reinstall all of our themes from our backup is go into files, just click and hold, and we're gonna click on share. And then we're gonna go to uh, copy or save, save to files, uh, if I can talk. So we're just gonna save it to documents for now. Just click save. Again, we're moving a gigabyte of data around. So give it a second. We can exit. Let's go into files. Uh, it's gonna automatically open us up in the documents folder. And uh, as you can see, I have tested this already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna delete this other one. So it's like we're starting fresh. So here's the themes backup zip. We can just click on it to unzip. Again, we're dealing with a gigabyte of information. So give it a minute to unzip all of this. Okay, and it just finished. So here is our theme backup folder. And as you can see in this, there's the subfolder themes, and that folder is what contains all of the themes. So from here, we can click edit. We can select on themes. We can click move, because we don't need to duplicate this or anything. And what I'm gonna do is back all the way up to the root directory again. So we're in root, and we just go into library. And then you guys will see, let's check to see that if there's a themes folder that's been created, there is not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in the folder and as you can see, this at least gives you a progress bar so you can see what's going on. Okay, and now we have the themes folder again. Um, I did wanna mention that if for whatever reason the themes folder was recreated on its own, meaning if you have a folder here that says themes and you go into it and it's empty, delete the empty folder and keep this main folder. So here you can see we have themes, we have all of my themes back. Let's go ahead and jump into settings. I'm gonna kill it from multitasking to refresh the files in it. I'm gonna go into mods. We're gonna swipe down until we see snowboard. I'm gonna to go to select the theme and boom, bada bing. We have all of our themes back on our iPhone. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a two part series. Uh, so in the second part, I'm gonna show you how I access all of these themes and use them on a non jailbroken device. I do have to wait for the, the file, Looks like it's waiting. I need to wait for this zip file to be uploaded to iCloud. So then it is accessible from the non jailbroken device. So uh, like I said, there, there will be a part two and I'll leave a link for it down in the description as soon as I get that done. Uh, but hopefully you guys found this video useful. Hopefully, uh, you know, you're gonna back up your themes if you guys have purchased a ton. Um, it's something I highly recommend. That way you always have access to all of those paid themes. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.